Hey guys, welcome back to Craft Beer Lady. Okay, so coming up tonight, we have got Brewdog Elvis Juice. Last time I was in my local Brewdog, we are quite lucky here, local to Cardiff, we've got our own Brewdog. Um, I actually picked one of these up because it's one Brewdog I have never tried, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So I'm going to crack this open. Quick look at the Brewdog cap. They're all got the Brewdog on there. Now let's give this a pour. Nice glug, I like that. Orange, I would expect that from an IPA. Tan head. Um, now this is a grapefruit infused IPA. It is vegan and it's 6.5% ABV. Looks a lovely colour, very orange. Lovely aroma, really fruity. Wow, really picking up that grapefruit, but like lots of tropical fruits at the same time. Oh my god. It actually smells a bit like pineapple juice as well. Really fruity aroma, making my saliva get excited about this. I'm going to go cheers. Oh wow. So first thing I kind of hits me is the bitterness, but then second, it's like really, really refreshing. Definitely picking up that fruit, that grapefruit. I mean, it is definitely in there. Um, it goes really nicely with the hops. Oh, it's it's not too resinous. It has definitely got that kind of bite, that resinous, bitter bite at the back of your uh, tongue. But not, not overpowering. This is nice. This is a refreshing IPA. I wish it tasted a little bit more like it smelled. But then it wouldn't be an IPA if it did. It would just be a pineapple juice, wouldn't it? Or a grapefruit juice. Mmm. It's really nice. Quite easy to drink that for 6.5%. I mean, it's not the highest for an IPA. Well, it's quite high for an IPA, actually, isn't it? I guess borderline that one. So, grapefruit IPA packs more fruit than the state of California. So, how much have they actually put in here? Have they actually put it in? Just having a quick read. Yeah, they've got orange and grapefruit in there. It's actually making my lips sting a little bit and a little bit sticky as well. I'm going to burp. It does smell better than it tastes, but for an IPA, it's quite nice. It's not really a sessionable IPA. I wouldn't suggest you drink lots of these, but having said that, it's ideal because it's quite easy to drink. Nice carbonation in there as well. Like I said, it's actually quite refreshing, and I think that's down to the carbonation. It's lovely, really nice, I'm really enjoying this. Anyway, I think I have waffled on for quite long enough. Uh, guys, thanks for, all to jo for joining me today, and I'll see you all again next time. If you like what you see, do subscribe. Cheers.